Today's video is going to be about me living life, not preparing for another fight. So most of you guys always see me training for a fight, but now you're going to see what my mornings are like when I've not got a fight to train for, when I'm just training to enjoy it and keep the weight down. So I'm going to take you guys along with me today for that. We're going to be doing some boxing work um, at the gym this morning. We're going to be doing some defense drills, some footwork drills, some pads, a bit of everything really. So you're going to see what I'm going to have for my breakfast. Obviously, I'm not trying to cut mad weight at the minute, so I am going to be adding a little bit more in there than I normally have. And yeah, I'm just going to take you guys along this morning. So guys, as you can see, it's the same breakfast as what I have when I'm in camp, except today I'm going to add in some crumpets with some peanut butter because I'm not trying to lose, you know, 10 kilos. I'm not trying to cut down to 12 stone, 12 from 16 stone. You know, I'm just trying to maintain what I am now, maybe drop a little bit, but this is the fun part about not being in camp because I can enjoy my food a little bit more. And the fact that I'm training twice a day still means that I can enjoy my favorite things. And one of them being peanut butter. So that's just a nice thing about not being in camp. Like normally when I'm preparing for a fight, I just have the porridge with a little bit of honey in and that's it. But now I get to have that with the peanut butter, with the crumpets, with a scoop of protein powder in. So, you know, it is nice for me. It puts me in a little bit better mood because I live for food basically. And that's all I think about, food, food, food. So the fact when I can enjoy it, I'm a happier man. Now I'm gonna take you guys along to my favorite cupboard in this whole house, my cupboard. I like to mix up my protein powders quite a lot. Um, so I actually have a ton of protein powder, basically. I basically have a supplement store in the house. Um, yeah, I have quite a bit. So I've been using... I was speaking about cupboard here. I didn't realise that was a cupboard. Yeah, literally. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I've literally been using the Seabum one when he collaborated with Raw. Um, that's really nice. That's a cinnamon crunch cereal. I've been using that quite a lot. So I think today I'm gonna to go with I'm gonna go with some chocolate peanut butter today. I think that's what I'm in the mood for. Good choice. And it's just it's just good because at the end of the day you don't want things to get repetitive. And if you're eating the same tasting porridge every single day of the year, you're not gonna to want to eat it. So you know it's just little little things that change it massively that are still healthy. You know it's not like I'm putting a load of you know Nutella in there or a load of Biscoff or something like that. I'm still keeping it healthy. But a skip protein powder just changes the flavour, you know, massively. So that is the porridge taken care of. As you can see, it does look quite appetising for porridge, I can't lie. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get the toaster out. I'll go one. I'm just going to go one today. I've got training relatively soon, so I don't want to be getting hit with body shots and keeling over and basically saying, <gasps> spewing up crumpets and porridge, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? For me, this is the best peanut butter about. Like, this is not an ad. I'm not getting paid for it, but I just have to tell the truth. Like, this is the, I've, not, I've, not, I've had an awful lot of peanut butter through my time, but this is just the best that I've ever used. It's just incredible. And for anyone as well who's looking to get some quick energy before the training sessions, peanut butter is always a go-to whenever I feel a bit low. Hello. This is um, the better half in the morning. Indeed. It is good to be fair. I'm having uh, one of your crumpets to be fair. Oh. And they're actually going down a treat. So for that last fight it was you know, it was it was crazy what happened. Um I had a scheduled opponent that pulled out four hours before the fight. Um and when he pulled out, I was literally sat there thinking, right, I've got no fight. And then two hours to go, three hours to go, we had an opponent come in, but they couldn't sanction it, sanction it to be a real fight. So we, we could only have an exhibition. So it was either do the exhibition and get paid, or not do the exhibition and not get paid, and I've done two months of training. So obviously I'm gonna do the exhibition. But the whole thing was crazy. Like he had one contract saying he had to make a certain weight. I had, I had a contract that said I had to make this weight. I made the weight that was in my contract. You know, when I stepped on them scales, the commission said, yep, no problem, you've made weight, well done. Come off the scales. Two seconds later, the opponent comes running in. Oh, what are you doing? Da, da, da. Well, it says this in my contract, and it, and it says this in yours. And I was like, well, that's not my issue. You know, I'm a professional, always have been. You know, I always made, you know, I always make the weight that's specified in the contract. Um, 
So that was that. And then all of a sudden, I had an opponent change. I was training eight weeks for a southpaw. And then all of a sudden, I was fighting another orthodox fighter. You know, within a couple of hours, that's how quick you can change in boxing. So, you know, mentally, in this boxing game, you need to be switched on because you need to be ready for anything. And that was on the day of the fight, a few hours before. So, you know, for any boxers who's, you know, going through anything at, at, at the time, for any boxers who's ever going through anything, just think, you know, it's all going to be all right because it does work out in the end. No matter what what happens, there is always a solution. So just keep positive in your mindset and just get on with it, really. That's all you can do. No matter who he was putting in front of me, on that night, I'd have been getting in the ring. So it was a crazy story. Definitely a story that I keep with me for a lifetime uh, because even my dad, who's been in boxing for years, like 30, 40 years, he said he'd never, ever seen anything like that in his entire life. And that's why we're going to get off to the gym now. Breakfast is done. Um, and now we are going to make our way to the gym. I'm going to get my gym bag ready and then we are going to be off to the gym. This is uh, my sweaty layer. So basically, here's the stuff that I use day to day. My sweat bag that I was talking about is central. Boots. And a lot of people ask me, what are these for? These go over my knuckles. So I've had these sponges for about, I'm going to say two and a half years. And every time I wrap my hands, they're just placed over my knuckles like that. Then I wrap my hands. It's just a bit of extra protection for your hands. You know, I know that a lot of things have come out recently about, you know, do them this way, do them that way. But I feel like if it works for you, then don't change it. I mean, everywhere I go with them sponges, I get looks and I'm like, what, what are you doing? And like, it helps me. So I'm going to continue. That's a regular household sponge that you use to clean the dishes. Gloves, very worn in, as you can see. They're battle hardened, battle ready. So we have just got to the gym, uh, a little bit late. But we are gonna do a great session as always. I think we've got some defense drills, some pads, some foot drills, some shadow boxing. Um, so yeah, get ready for the ride. Welcome to Elite Boxing. Uh, my name's Alexander Matvienko. Um, we're based in Bolton. We've got Tommy and Roman down today, so we're just going to do some work. They've been in this week already, Monday, Tuesday, so today we're just going to probably... We're going to do a bit of skill stuff, a bit of fitness, nothing too hard. Yesterday they had a, quite an hard session. What kind of skill stuff are you doing today? Anything specific? Today we'll be working on just some different different stuff. I, I like to do a lot of footwork. Uh, buildings are built on big, found, proper foundations, not on weak foundations like this mill. So we do a lot of footwork-based stuff probably today. Um, Hand-feet coordination, as you can see with the skipping. Good for the aerobic and stuff. Just all different types of drills. Yeah. How long have you been working with Tommy for? Um, I w for the last the last fight in Dubai, I went over helping John out. John asked me to get involved, and then since we've got back, uh, Tommy and Roman's been coming down, ticking over, getting a sweat on, and, and just working on little things. Hi, I'm Deuced. That's out of camp. That's out of camp. Yeah. We can practice. No such word as can in the gym. And feet coordination. Cross over. That's it. Go right across your body. No such word as can. I can. I will. You've got to talk to yourselves better. Talk to yourself like you talk to your friend. I keep one in the centre, so everything's just a small movement. In boxing, you don't want big movements. You don't want to telegraph your movements. I just want to make you miss by a couple of inches and make you fair. So Tommy's in the middle, just little quarter pivots, little step backs if he's going backwards, coming in. And it's just little small movements. If I get you in a position, I can hit you and you can't hit me, that's boxing. And you've got Roman on the outside, all he's doing is conditioning his legs. So he's light on his feet, conditioning and rolling out as he's circling around the ropes. A lot of people will circle upright. But you might want me circling that way and hit me with a right hand or with a left hook. So we're getting him doing his rolling and rolling. So after a while, it'll just become natural. He'll just roll out. How long are you in this for? Um, we're, ju we're just going to do three minute rounds, but we'll swap halfway. Change, let's go. Straight in, let's condition legs now. So we do three minute rounds like when they box. We try and make things specific. So this is like, for me, it's a specific drill. Working the outside of the ring, working on the inside as well. Yeah. Um, the ropes are a little bit lower, it's just making them bend the knees. Because sometimes fighters are a bit lazy, they don't bend the legs. Roman, keep the hands a little bit higher. So when we're ducking, uh, we duck into our hands. We don't duck like this. Yeah, we duck into a shell. That's it, like a turtle. Working hard. 
what you feel the still working for you? Just getting the legs conditioned, you know, like Alex was saying, condition the legs, get used to moving, you know, pivoting, rolling on these shots, keep your defense tight. Just getting that them legs conditioned, you know, that's the main thing. Especially being out of camp, we're just working on technical sort of things, conditioning the legs ready for when we get into proper camp. Is this a drill you think you're good at or something that needs work? I think, you know, I've been doing boxing a long time and it's definitely stuff that I'm familiar with. But again, in boxing, you never stop learning, ever. So you're implementing, when you're moving and you're shadowing, you're boxing at long, you're boxing at short. Yo, know, you've got all your ranges, all right? So we're, we're gonna just put all them together in there now. One of you jump out, we'll do some hand-feet coordination here. On this one, boys, all you're gonna do is you're gonna throw punches as you're moving. Just continuous, but look how I am, it's just rhythm. Yeah. Rhythm. I don't want you throwing shots, then having to move, then throwing. Everything should be smooth. You should be able to throw going backwards, going forwards. What do you feel like you were working on that last one then? Just fainting. Fainting, yeah. moving, catching, you know, catch, block, hit, turn shot. Getting your head out of the way, because so someone's throwing their job. It's like that. But if I slip my head to the left, I'm gonna hit them and they're not gonna hit me. Yeah. So it's all about getting yourself in the right position, keep inside on, so the body's not available. Just little things. Yeah. Little things make a massive difference. Yeah, 1%. What's next, coach? Uh, we, we're gonna put some focus mitts in. I think everyone likes a bit of pads, all the boxers. You both like a bit of pad work, didn't you? Yeah, they both like a bit of pad. Yeah. I think they prefer a bit of pads than to uh, do some burpee jumps or something, yeah. so. We'll do a bit of pad work, a uh, bit of skill stuff. I'm still going to implement some uh, some foot drills. I'll probably put some in just for, I, I want them tripling the jab up. A lot of great fighters jab, double, treble jab. Um, and I, I, some, I, I think people neglect the triple jab. So we're going to work on a triple jab drill. And we're also going to just do a bit of focus mitts, which is for hand-eye coordination reactions. It's for punching correctly. It, you know, it's for a dozen a dozen things pad work, uh, depending how you do it. It's for distance work, uh, for correction and fault. So we'll do some pad work as well. We'll just mi mix it up a little bit. So as you can see, our today's sessions, it's a lot more technical. It's not like super hard training, like, you know, grueling ourselves. It's more technical because when we're out of camp, that's the time to work on the things that we didn't do the last fight. That's the time to get things right, so that when we go into proper camp, we've got those things right, and we can do the hard training as well. So like I just said, really, at the house, you know, it's just about learning stuff when I'm out of camp, you know, picking up on things, you know, drilling it, so that so when we do have a fight lined up, and we are in proper camp, then everything's as it needs to be. We work on things, and we're not in camp, so when we're in camp, we can train as hard as we want. Now, when you throw in the jab, instead of standing still, we're going to work it as if you're coming from out of range. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. The so guys, today you have seen my training session when I'm not preparing for a fight, as you can see, we're just um, learning new tricks, going over things, you know, fine tuning everything, you know, picking up some new moves and just really hammering home on what needs to be, you know, learned during these sessions. So, um, you know, that's been my morning. This is mainly what I do every single morning when I'm out of camp. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it easy, guys.